That's yo, we're back, man. Bsideshow.net, like we do every Monday night. This is our once a month Wednesday show. We're into a mean forum, and, and I want to add on. Li listen, Aguilar had a good point. We're gonna end the show with the marketing thing because that that's gonna go on a minute. Sponsorship but, uh, but, uh, marketing. But, right. but I want to talk about this right now. And you mentioned some art. I mean, like Big Daddy Kane's one of my favorite artists from when he first oh, came man. out. Oh man, yes. But, uh, but but I wanted to ask, um, and we'll start off with you, Aguilar. But why do you think? Um, you know, uh, cats, I guess, uh, stay maybe underrated. And uh, from a hip hop fan's perspective, you know, cats like Raz Kaz, shout out to him. He's been on the show before, but Raz Kaz, right. lyrical genius, dog. I produced his first single, yeah. his new single, uh, Coke Lines. Yeah, yeah. And you're, yeah. And you're also on the, on yeah, the track. Yeah, and I'm uh, on, uh, Come on with me, him, and Sick Jack, and also produced by me. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm talking about, though, but why? Uh, cats like him, man. We we know the genius. We, we, we know one the, the genius out of Carson. Cats. He's one of the dopest dudes C I ever met. You feel me? Shout to Razzy, man. Hey, Wherever hey, you at, bro? But, Shout but, but I'm just using him as a, as an example, though. But um, or or even Quick Quick's known, but as a producer, I feel he's underrated. But why do you think it is? And we, we'll probably lead into the marketing thing. But why? Why do you think it is? I know Raz Kez had his own problems. He went to jail for a little while and stuff like that. But why do you think some of these cats don't get the recognition as hip hop fans that we feel they should get, like Raz Kez and shit like that? Well, Raz Kez for one is a legendary West Coast MC. Can't nobody fuck with. Ain't nobody Can't fuck even erase with that. Yeah. That's in that's in stone already for his brand. At the end of the day, he is who he is, and 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 I think hip hop needs to accept him for what he is, a legendary West Coast MC. Now, from there, what we what he has to do is keep his music flowing, keep it consistent. And that's what Raz is doing right now. Raz is involved with a lot of projects right now. And, and he, he's putting out, you know, quality music. You know, if you check out Barmageddon, it's, it's a great album. I love it. It's one of the greatest independent albums of the year. I think he it's emailed, the most slept on. He emailed one it of the me. most slept on independent LPs. And the names on there, you got, you know, Talib. You got me. You got, you know, it, it, it's... It, it, it was a hard work for him to put that together, bro, and it can't go unwarranted, and I'll shout that brother out because he put a lot of hard work into that project, and I respect him because he puts hard work into his music. He is who he is, and you know what? He's going to keep being Razzy, Raz Cash. Accept him. That's who he is. It, the shit with game and all that, whatever beefs, Whatever shit he went through his life, it's all personal. We all people. We men before the mic. We're going to go through shit in our life, but just please accept us artists for who we are and our talent. You know, we go through things. We all going to go through things and make mistakes in life. That's 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 uh, who it I, is. I just I just feel, though, that like and that the only reason I brought him up is because is I feel like um, I mean, I had his for from his first, you know, I had it on cassette, dog. The first right. shit he came out, I seen him perform. City of Industry, I'm around this area, SGV right here where we're at, and uh, 130 Shoppers Lane in Covina, 86 Clothing, by the way. Hey, but, <laughs> yeah, but, I love this clothing store. But, I need but, some gear. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, but I the only it, reason. I need, I need a hoodie. I'm cold. <laughs> the, the only reason I brought him up is because I feel like that dude should have been way more blown up than he is that dude's one of the illest mcs ever east or west coast whatever done. his yeah. work is not done see as long as you're living your work is not done there's always more opportunity for you to increase that brand for you to increase that worth your catalog you know what i mean and, and then special albums special greatest hits raz Kaz greatest hits you don't know. You might get a dope album produced by Dre. You might not know what producer he might run into. And so, um, actually, I don't. I don't want to leak the man business, but I know he told me that he's working with CeeLo Green. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. You heard it on up? a special hey. project. I don't know the name of it. You heard it. that on the B yeah, side first. I was first. just going to say that. <laughs> you heard it on the B side first. I don't know the name of it, but he said that there's a project with him and CeeLo Green involved. Damn. Just be on the lookout for that it. That shit's crazy. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you're <laughs> You got. I don't mean your razz. Don't fuck me up, man. Oh, if you see me, don't get mad. Razz don't try like, to come at me crazy. Fuck? Why you leaking that shit? I just try shit? to make you. Why make you, you leaking make... that shit? Yo, <laughs> right? Hey, yeah. so hey, B, hey, he's a B-side show alumni though. He's been here, man. That's the whole. My home. bad, my nigga. They, 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 your name came up. I gotta defend the opportunity. <laughs> Shout out. So, so here's my thing with it. I hear where I personally come in on it. Like you say, a Razkaz, right? So he had this shit happen with game, right? Um, and I feel like in certain situations, rappers have shit happen to them. And I think it all depends on how that rapper takes that opportunity and runs with it will depend on, on, on the future of their career, right? So Jay could have like... I mean, he was the biggest shit. We were talking about Ether. When Nas came out, he lyrically fucking put a strap to his head and let the whole clip off. Like, Ether was ridiculous. Yeah. The shit got warmer and warmer and warmer. And he took a big shit on the third verse. Like, are you kidding me? How does a diss track get harder? You know what I mean? You would think he just comes out, says some shit, and then it's like, oh, yeah, he said some shit on Ether. No, like, he fucking committed lyrical fucking murder on Ether, right? What did Jay-Z do? Like, Jay-Z came back like, oh, yo, I'm such a boss. Like, I don't even got to worry about it. Hov, and he's fine. Doing fine today, right? Okay, so you look at um. Let's see. Here's another one. Uh, Little Wayne, right? So when when a lot of people forget because he was so fucking huge from like oh six to oh nine, whatever the case it was, right? And then, I mean, even now he could drop whatever the fuck he could say whatever he wants. He's gonna get a million spins. But you look at when Wayne, like when the Hot Boys broke up and then Juvie left Cash Money and then they were saying that shit was a fucking artist graveyard. What did Wayne do? He just started rapping. And he just, he didn't give a fuck. And he was shoving it down your throat like, fuck you, take this. I'm not going to let that little thing happen until me, hold me back. Ross was a fucking liar and, and stole somebody's identity. Let's call it for what it is, right? He's a filthy fucking pig and he lied about some shit. And hold on, though, he is bigger than, a, I mean, look at him. We're he selling can entertainment. No, he, right. We're selling sex. He said, he said fuck it, I'm going to rap about, I'm rap about putting, putting heels image. on my bitch and eating her it's pussy. It's your image. Crush right? pineapples. Yo, yo. Yeah. Game, Dice even but yo, back to game. Game said in the interview, it's a costume, right? So I wear, yeah. so, so I wear this costume so as a gangster, and at the end of the day, I got a family and a daughter I gotta take care of. See, so yeah. it's so that part. See, see, this is where art imitates life, and life imitates art. This is the intelligence of the mind frame that a lot of rappers really don't understand why they do what they do but they just do things and think that they getting out so this is all reaction for an action you know what i'm saying with the game you, you know him him being who he is he got kids he grew up in a fucked up environment he from poverty he ain't from nothing he had lyrics he rapped his way out of a situation yeah i grant whoever to do that whatever it don't matter who you are it don't gotta be game. It ain't gotta be. It, it just you as a person, your 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 person, your 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 dignity of what you live for has to be able to come across as a as a person that yo I need I need money. How I'm gonna get it? See? Well, you know there's there's ways to get money. It ain't always it ain't always thinking the stereotype of getting money. Cause there's stereotypes of getting money, right? <laughs> so, so I think when you it know, comes down to hustling. every rapper, you, you know, know, everybody want to be a hustler. Everybody want to ball. This whole, you know, shit that gets in your mind frame, like it tells you to do things and rap, like get on your grind, all that. And that's that. There's a boop, blueprint, but you have to get to the the ways of doing it. Study big. Study Tupac. Exactly. Study the greats. So study think, these moves that they that make. I what, think what happens is the great you know, ones, and you that's learn, the, you and learn that's what separates the, 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 the truly commer take like L off, commercial successes. Learn, you get earned. Exactly. So you take the commercial successes, right? I'm not talking about the best rappers necessarily, but the most successful businessmen, and they've all had some shit confront them.
whether or not you agree with what happened to them, they handled it fucking bar none geniusly. It's because how they react to it. How they react to whatever happens is 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 ultimately. I'm just speaking commercially. We ain't talking lyrically because like a Razkaz, are you fucking kidding me? Like I would be like this on the floor. Like I really like Razkaz. Razkaz is doing me. shows right. right now. So he got a show tomorrow. Or I think it's tonight. He had a show tonight. Oh, tomorrow. Right. I don't know, but. But possibly possibly both, right? today and tomorrow. Yeah, so, yeah. Or possibly both, right? But so it's all on how you react to certain situations. Everybody's going to try to test you. You're in a fucking spotlight. So people are mad just because you're there and they're not. So uh, it, while you're sitting here doing shows and signing shit and selling merch and selling CDs and grinding or what, for whatever that's worth, there's a motherfucker sitting at home like, how can I pick this motherfucker apart? What can I do to pick him apart? Pissed off, or it could just be hey, another rapper. Hey, you know what? Let, no let me let me say this though, and, and, and to speak on what you're talking about, and, and he's one of the actual uh, co-signers of Razkaz speaking on that. But the teacher KRS-One, I once yeah. listened to one oh, of his man. interviews, dog, and, yeah. and 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 he's one of the the main like fans Razzcast, of Razkaz, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the main fans yeah. of Razkaz. But KRS-One once said this on an interview. I Dope. listened to it, and he said, the the teacher KRS-One, and he said. Every rapper that's hot, he's all, I got fucking hundreds of, of, of raps to eat them alive. So if they ever came at me, like, I would already react, and I already you know what, what to do. To you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> KRS-One is the teacher. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but he spoke yo, on that. It's all about having knowledge, being able to soak in the most, the most things that's going on in the world today. And delivering them from your perspective, we all share pens like we in this forum on bsideshow.net right, right now. Right, right, and, right. And, yeah. and uh, you know, with, with with this fellow man right here, I just networked with him. I, I asked this man after what I heard. I, I immediately, you know, understand who what his role in this game is. And with all respect, I would like to work with this man. So what I'm I'm telling the world is your net worth is your net work. work. You feel me? That that's 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 how you get it. You, when you network, you, your net worth comes to life, and you have to be able to keep a a a a, a, a good clean image, good dope rhymes, whatever you want to do. The internet will rip you apart. You have TMZ out there. You know you got all these other. <laughs> you got Chris Brown. They talk about the other night. He pushed the chick. I don't oh, know what's shit, going on yeah. with the homie. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Me, as an MC, I do not let this generation fool me. I had more followers than Twitter before Twitter was created. Because I'm a part of hip-hop, really. You know, I, I mean, like, man, it's, it's crazy to be here right now still doing this shit and being amongst you brothers and this young brother so, right here and, and, and you guys you know you book it's crazy or well you don't book but you being part of rock the bells and you guys always seem to have like i'm i'm throwing questions now but i'm really curious so you always seem to have like um especially like last couple shows like they blend like this crazy you might have like these new cats on the radio and then you'll have like a ll or you you're gonna have like a uh a Wu Tang reunion. Cuban or you shit. Gonna, so my so I guess it, my question to you is from your perspective, you seeing that, right? How do you feel how do you think like a Razkaz, since everybody's using him, but why do you think somebody stays underrated like that? You booking both sides. Cause you guys literally book both sides of No, I mean that's that's really a good question. Right. Um because I was gonna touch a little bit on that. Uh, the example, for example, of like Razkaz, um and for example you also said Sick Jack and you know and how we were talking about two max you know me two max and, and jack working on some shit and so I, I was really really surprised when jack and told me that he's never done a u.s tour. i want to produce it like <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know I was, I was i was really in shock when when jack and told me that he's put never me done down. just put know, me in that just put me in the tree ag is involved we go <laughs> <laughs> Throw Ag in there in the mix and we You know, when, when he told me he's never done a U.S. tour Sick Jackin Sick Jackin He's, never he's, he's done overseas it's, it's all He's Latin done Europe America and shit, Latin yeah. America But he's never done a U.S. tour Shout to Duke I was Woo! like, damn Like, that kind of reminds me of, of um, Just my perspective of the live entertainment Of that's why I feel sometimes You know, certain artists get underlooked or underrated because they stay West Coast or they right. stay. Well, I'm an East LA, Coast artist originally. You know, 
I'm going to show you this. I didn't have barriers when I grew up. I listened to good hip-hop, Above the Law, N.W.A., Ice Cube. I listened to DJ Quick. I listened to DJ Quick till tapes popped. I listened to Compton's Most Wanted. I listened to a lot of gangster rap. L.A. rap was really what I was living in New York because it was dudes jacking guns, you know, doing the same shit. And the music displayed everything that I was living. Not, it, not, not the gangs. I ain't know nothing about. I mean, New York had gangs and all that. Ben had streets and all that fucked up. We grew up in the projects. Being alone in the, just because just you from a certain project, that's your gang. Like, you feel me? Like, your block, that's how we ran. Like, and, and if you, it was blocks. Not gangs, it was block gangs, like Blake Ave, Blake Ave, that's, you know, all that shit. So it was like kind of not, you know, Bloods and Chris, but we grew up in New York off of real hip-hop, meaning that we would train to think and, and, and embrace certain music. And when it came in reality that everybody was making hip-hop and they seen that it was money in it, and the business and the corporations got involved, you know, they thought it was a fad at the beginning. Let's get it all right. This shit, this rap shit, people don't know the foundation of it. Just like they it. thought rock and roll was right. too. Right. It, yeah, yeah. it was a fad at the beginning. Yep. You know what I mean? Then you had certain groups that was coming out. Tribe Called Quest, Leaders of the New School. You know what I'm saying? All these, you know, uh, De La Soul. You know what I'm saying? Brand new beings. You know, all these other type of different entities in hip hop that was showing you ain't gotta be corporate, you ain't gotta be the gangster MC, you ain't gotta be run DMC or Beastie Boys. You know, that was the first white boy group I ever seen. So they it was it was a corporation when you had Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin. You know what I mean? Now you got Rick Rubin twinkling his toes on Kanye and them couch still. What? You ain't lying. This is that real shit I'm telling you. <laughs> Feel me? The man is in a bed in the commercial telling Jay Z, listen, all of the struggle you went through doesn't mean nothing at the end of the day. He said, well, no, he said, because you attain all of those Ow. things. And the Picasso literally means nothing. Nothing. Right? Nothing. nothing. Everything you say doesn't mean nothing, Jay. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, you with the shoes on. Hey, hey. Oh, you know what's cold about yo, it? I read it's Anthony crazy Kiedis, though. The Red Hot Chili Peppers, not to go too far. I love Rick Rubin. Anthony Kiedis, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Scar Tissue. I read his shit while I was in prison. Greatest fucking book I ever read. He said that that's how Rick Rubin has produced since day one. They're doing Californication. Rick Rubin's got his fucking feet up like this. Stroking his beard. With, with, with his <laughs> hat like this, stroking his beard, barefoot on the couch, and he goes... Down while he's while he's um he's I think he's playing yeah. um, scar tissue he's playing the song Rick Rubin goes yeah I like that okay keep playing <laughs> that's how he produced their record so it was hilarious to see the Magna Carta fucking thing and he's doing I'm like he did the shit thing he did in the book he yeah at the, the end toes. of the day at the end of the day he just is a he's he's his own he's his own zone and who he is. And um, yeah, I never heard him speak that much. As I always thought he was a, he, like I back mean, in the days, true, he was though. silent yeah, in the videos. You're he much, never man. made any like nah. he <laughs> talks very. He just gives you. A, it's one line. Less is more. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. Yeah. less is more. His, yeah. his, his Whoever's watching, is less uh, is go more. go rank Crush Groove. Yo, yeah, I was about to say that right now. Less is more. Did you guys hear that? Crush Groove. Less is more. I was I was yeah. Crush Groove the movie. Crush Groove. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wasn't he talking in fresh? That's the most yeah. he, he spoke in fresh group. He's like, he's talking. Yo, no, he rapped. Remember when they went for the <laughs> loan in the bank? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he had like know. The, the, I don't know who made him do that. Was it Russell or I don't know. But you know, see, the start of something special, when you're part of something special and a part of a certain movement. See, I, I helped build a lot of movements from Purple City, Dipset, you know, Group Home after they left Premier. To Onyx after, you know, the first album to, you know, Run DMC, uh, to EPMD after they broke up and I got with them when they got back together, the Daz Effects. These are all my clients. Big pun. Uh, when he was 400 pounds on a bed. Good Lord. You know, God bless, God bless his soul. Exactly. Uh, you know, 
all the you know all the you know things that I've done. Big Daddy Kane producing him, producing Cool G Rap, producing uh, KRS One. Uh, man, man, the names bust the rhymes. Like I don't even like talking names no more. It gets tiring because me, I I, I don't understand like artists sometimes. Like people don't understand me as an artist sometimes because I you're like all right, you're a, you're a producer, but like I'll battle anybody and murk them. I don't care if you tell. Yeah, yeah, it's that part. You, you can't sleep on artistry. You can't sleep on nobody. So I don't let the industry technology fool me. You know, eventually you get one hit in there. It all it takes is one record. Yeah, that's all to it blow takes. Blow you the bro. fuck up, yeah. bro. So if you got hey, that one hey, hit, come with it. Look, look, we're gonna we're gonna play one more video. And we're gonna end the segment. I want to have Jose. We're gonna we're gonna uh, have Jose talk about the marketing aspect, man. We're we're gonna play this video real fast, and then we'll come right back. Jose, man, uh, go ahead and, and we'll lead into marketing. And we'll end the, the shit like that, man. But we'll do. Hey, again, man, I appreciate you guys for being here, man. It's a good shit, good man. Good times. I, I, I'm hip-hop. And like we said at the beginning, man, you got to be a fan first. And this is why me and Wacko show up here every week, man. We're fans Shout first, Shout out to you man. and B-Side. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's what it um, is. You guys are appreciated. I'm appreciated of being here with you guys talking like this. This is opening minds. Yeah, yeah. This is our minds. Uh, they're going to learn some shit. great minds. And, uh, you know, Y'all I, gonna I, learn I, hope you guys, I hope you guys keep. I hope this show, I hope this show doesn't die. I hope no, this show no, lasts no. Never 20 that, years. No, no. And Never that. you guys can retire. I'll roll in here with my wheelchair, dog. Still yeah, talking. that's right. <laughs> Still talking hip hop. G. Hey, in a, in a wheelchair with some Viagra and yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, with a hard I one really from do. Viagra. You know what I mean? You know what, Shade? Just go to the anchor yeah. <laughs> video before the shit gets any more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in a oh, wheelchair yo. with a hard one. Yo, but, um, you know, let's get to it, man. The break or whatever. Yeah. Shout the B-Side show. Respect, brother. Respect. <laughs>